through AFH, one of the things that we've been working on is a study looking at a lot of the transitional shelters and where they stand as far as their expected lifespan and looking at the emergency shelters through, through transitional shelters into permanency and how long we think they'll last. We've looked at 10 different companies so far, so now we're going to the Haven site to see what their shelters are made of and how long and how many years we expect their materials to last and do an assessment of that. Hi Heidi. Hi you. Welcome to Mayor Sank. Thank you. Thank in, you for having in, us here. In, in, in Guadalupe. Thank you for having us and here. And you've walked into the middle of a, a public meeting. Okay. <laughs> we'll try not to disrupt the meeting then. Okay. So there are 365 in this particular camp. Yes. And we're, we're going to provide the, uh, transitional shelters, which we'll show you now in a few moments, um, to 100 families. Okay. okay? But that'll leave then another 265 families, you know? Right, right. But it's like that all over the city, like, you know? You're, you know, you're trying to do what you can to decongest the, the camps, you right. know? Yeah. So shall we go see some shelters and take a look at what... Yeah. So we have our foundations, we have rebars, coming up from the foundation and then we have straps to hold it down so I mean they are they're they're permanent structures basically I mean they would stand earthquakes and they'll withstand hurricanes so this is your st standard tea shelter that you've been putting up you yeah know, you're going to be doing nearly a hundred of these exactly yeah yeah and this person will be here I will say for the next 10 to 15 years and, mm -hmm. may and maybe more mm -hmm. so this is our Gabion house and this is a prototype that you've decided to, to this here to show as an example of another form of construction. Exactly, yeah. because um, as you know, there is just hundreds of thousands of tons of rubble all over Port-au-Prince now, right. okay? And when we came first and we saw it, we sort of thought maybe there was a possibility of um, using gabions to build houses. You fill all of these baskets individually by hand, okay? And the idea for that is that you try to fill as many of the voids as you possibly right. can. Okay? And all this rubble is com coming from local, uh, some local area as far as... All came from the local area, yeah, within a radius of um, a couple of miles, yep. say, okay? For years, people use local materials to build, okay? And now this happens to be a local material. I suppose a logical progression from, from the earthquake. Yeah. And the thing that I suppose excites me most about it is that I don't see it just being confined to Haiti. Right. Um, I think this has applications all around the world. So people are transitioning from this emergency phase shelter into a more permanent structures or semi-permanent structures. But we've got 1.2 million people to transition and to move. So this shelter really shouldn't last beyond the six month time frame and we really should transition these people into a more permanent structure.